Morning everyone, this is Abby in Chasing Tents on my way to Cadwell Park. It's gonna be a crazy track day. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Abby at Chasing Tents. I'm in Cadwell Park. Out of all places, you find me in the British countryside. What a crazy track. Absolute, absolute epic, epic track. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. If you've never heard of Cadwell Park, if you're outside the UK, if you've never heard of the mountain, Search it, Google it, watch it. There's amazing laps on YouTube by a lot of people. It's a what a track, what an amazing track. Unfortunately, I booked myself in novice group because it was everything else was full. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> well, I did have plenty of opportunity to book advanced or uh, intermediate group, but I was just a bit tentative with all the chatter of the mountain, you know, Cadwell Park, how narrow it is. And you know everything. I, I was a bit scared for the first time. Uh, no, I I just thought novice group might be might be okay for the for me being uh, a first timer at Cadwell Park. But how wrong was I? I was very very wrong. Uh, you know I was I was straight away pretty nippy. Uh, you know at Cadwell Park. Uh, I was really you know I think my my times were middle to fast intermediate. Uh, so I just realized that I had made a mistake. But anyways, we'll talk about that in a, in a second. However, let's talk about this mountain. So a lot of the people who don't know Cadwell Park, or if you are in Europe or India or Australia or Canada, America, you must be thinking, New Zealand, you must be thinking, uh, what is a mountain in the middle of a, a track? Well, Cadwell Park has got a bit of a incline and if you're carrying a bit of decent speed and you've got some <laughs> kahunas, then you can carry some uh, pretty big wheelies or maybe uh, both wheels up in the air. Uh, you know, so uh, here's my attempt straight away, first session, and big thank you to my mate Dan Mo who uh, videoed this. And here's my attempt uh, straight away at the mountain. <laughs> Hope you like that. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, you know, if you think, uh, you know, how that happens or how dangerous it is or, or what, to be honest, it's, it's a very natural phenomenon. You know, just if you keep the throttle on and just have faith and, uh, you know, let your arms, you know, let your arms be a bit loose and don't have tight arms and stuff and just let the bike land uh, gently and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty decent. I mean, I've got carbon fiber wheels, so I was a little bit, tentative thinking if I'm gonna land my front wheel what if if my front wheel shatters but you know I'd uh, there's no concerns I'd look on forums and stuff there there's no issues loads of people doing wheelies all day long 
uh, on uh, with carbon fiber wheels. So you know it was it was pretty okay. It was pretty good. So um, yeah, let me let me show you some uh, some sessions now. So okay, so I thought let's do some uh, commentary of uh, of the the lab. So getting out of the pit. This is the afternoon session might be two two and a half laps here but it's got a, a mix of everything so just got out of the pits well there there isn't any pits it's just uh, a bit of a, a lay-by on the side so yeah just following the guys so this is the afternoon session I didn't want to show you the morning session because they were so busy in traffic in the novice group it was just just unbelievable just just pointless showing you that so by this time a few of the people have got to grips with the track so uh, yeah let's just uh, let's just take you through the uh, the actual lap so start finish straight uh, following some bikes in the straight line these guys are pretty good uh, with all due respect to be honest everyone was pretty amazing uh, but it is my main aim is to show you that what uh, what happens when you're in the wrong group so let's have a look the following this gentleman and uh, yeah this chap in the Tuono God bless him he was he was uh, I left him twice I think he was under training as well later on uh, okay, now this is uphill. Uh, what happens is when you're approaching this, uh, there is a bit of a. If you if you're really giving it some, I'm not giving it all that. But when you're really giving it some, you really kind of like go poof, and you can feel the suspension going down. Whoa, 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 whoa! I think these guys are a bit of early breakers. I'm a bit of a late breaker, but uh, yeah, I just kept on the outside rather rather than being on the inside, just to be on the safe side. So yeah, try, I'm not trying to overtake this chap because I know he's behind somebody else and there you go. Exactly, great thing because if I would have tried to overtake the, overtook him then he would have uh, crashed into me. So um, behind him now, he's pretty decent to be honest compared to most people and just going to overtake him now. Go to first gear, I don't know why I went into first gear, high side city first gears are. So, so um, yeah, oh, back to start finish line because there was no traffic. Um, okay, so a bit more traffic here. Let's have a look. Uh, just got to be a bit careful because uh, um, in novice groups, people stay in the middle of the track. Uh, you could, so they could go in any direction. So you just have to give them space and respect. Uh, and then now, just uh, he's trying to overtake this chap, so I just got to be patient. And now it's my time to overtake both of them. Gone. Heartbreaking. Next one. Hitting the apex beautifully on the outside. Now it's time for me to overtake him. Um, let's see. It's pretty decent to be honest. Me, uh, you know, this chap is really nice. And we're just gonna kind of do it now. Now, as soon as I overtake him, I've got two more bikes. Just have to be a bit more clever with them to see what we, I'm gonna do. I'm first gear again, outside city. <laughs> So uh, yeah, both of them gone, first gear, this chaps, and this is where you got to be a bit careful. I could have overtaken him and this pointless because you got to do your homework way before the turn. And if someone is committed to the turn, look at him. What? He's looking for a mate. Is he there? He's looking for his mate again. Oh, <laughs> funny. I think he was looking for someone he knew. So uh, yeah, just going to stay behind him. Just patience. Patience is key. Uh, you just don't want to surprise anyone. Like even now, I kind of break, and then when I knew he was all the way to the left, then move. These, this is beautiful. Left, right, left, right. Gives you a bit of tunnel vision after a while because it's so narrow. I meet a few more people now. Here we go. Gone, and this chap approaching the start finish straight. Gone. And uh, now giving it some, I think now I, I kind of build up a bit of speed because I see a little bit of empty track now in front of me. The reason I'm not going to cut to more traffic now, I want to show you how quickly you can catch people when you've got a bit of empty track. So I've got no one in front of me now and I've got a bit of freedom to really give it some. Not good lines there to be honest, not good lines there, but here you go. Now you will see that dip I was on about, so just before bang now it just goes a little bit suspension goes a bit down because you're, you're uphill if you uh, if you're at, uh, at a good pace now see how quickly I approach these people I think he's on a CB 500 twin so um, that's got his whole championship that that bike and uh, now just approaching this chap and I think I'm gonna take
take him on the outside yet. Yeah, nice and safe and sound. Cautious, 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 gone. Um, then, let's have a look. I think the reason I've kept this going for so long, because I want to show you that uh, mountain and a bit of wheelie. There you go. Quickly done. See how quickly I overtake bef well before the apex, well before the turning. There's no point surprising people, especially in the novice group, on the turning. It's pointless. So now approaching the mountain, hit the apex, hit the second apex, give it some, and first really, second really, and I'm nearly on the grass. I think my rear was on the grass. And now this beautiful section of left, right, left, which is just absolutely amazing. And I think I'm gonna end the video here uh, before I bore you even more. So thank you. A lot of people tend to book groups with their mates or uh, they could book groups um, because they just want to overtake some people let me tell you it's just not worth it you know you're putting other people at risk you're putting yourself at risk it's and it's pointless overtaking people on a, a racetrack in a group where you're clearly faster it's just you you actually feel guilty so uh, in the first two three sessions well to be honest the whole day except the last two sessions where there was uh, people had left uh, and uh, you know I, I got some clear track I just felt so guilty in the morning and, and uh, early afternoon like just overtaking because I was thinking these people must be thinking why is it in, why is this guy in this group and you know with all due respect you know I, I get plenty of space to everyone and it just felt really awkward so um, I kept asking for uh, um, a different group but you know it, it was my fault at the end of the day I booked myself in the wrong group but lesson learned uh, never again I hope you can hear me that there's plenty of generators in the background because uh, Cadwell Park doesn't have any pits. There's no pits, there's no sockets. If you want to put tire warmers on, if you need a bit of electricity, you'd, you'll need a electric generator, you'll need a petrol generator or a diesel generator. I'll show you the, uh, the campsite. Hope you got that. Um, yeah, what a place! I mean, I mean, look at this. It just, it just feels like you're at the, uh, you're at uh, a family day out or something. You know, with uh, with with family or with friends. It's just a quiet country countryside place and uh, up and down track, very narrow track. You know, and um, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you need to have some balls to even come here. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what one of the instructors said. Because this track takes a lot out of you in terms of your mental strength. You know, you think whatever. And this track really, uh, really tests you in every single way. So I've come here in my trusted trailer. Uh, I got my bike here, it took me two and a half hours to come from where I live and uh, and it's pretty cool, it's really really different you know, really different, I really wish I was an intermediate group I don't think I'm, I'm, I belong in a fast group but yeah, I'll show you the bike I've chained the brake pads So I rented a, a generator, 22 pounds for one day, not bad at all, absolutely humid and hot, just drying my suit, I got fuel in that, fuel in these, 
got loads of fuel with me uh, but yeah my bike is much much better compared to before um, in terms of fueling wise so I'm going to show you a lap time uh, which I actually managed to calculate finally using the video editor really because uh, you know I had some problems with lap time it's a long story uh, it's just GPS connections uh, very very odd I don't know why uh, just just couldn't like on my i2m dash we couldn't really map a lap and I hadn't downloaded the Cadwell Park lap to my i2m so my fault really completely uh, but here you go here's the lap hope you like it everyone beautiful Cadwell Park comes to an end what a brilliant place what a I just I just have no words to explain I mean all I can hear at the moment except for my diesel car <laughs> is lovely birds in the background it is just just quiet surreal if you can see there's a lot of people still camping there's a lot of people still camping and it's just absolutely dead quiet birds chirping it's in the middle of nowhere this track that's my car that's my trailer which I use so yeah what well, it's just absolutely absolutely brilliant day today I was in the novice group but the last two sessions a lot of people had um, had gone home or just thought they will do the track day tomorrow because it's a two-day event I'm only here for one day so it was pretty cool that way <laughs> And in terms of pace, pace was very, very good. Last two sessions, there wasn't much traffic and pace was just absolutely brilliant. Hardly anyone. Uh, I mean, I, I did see some people on the track and safely overtook them. And that mountain, oh my goodness, the wheel. If you've got a little bit of balls and you, you want to give it some, the front just comes up like four times. My GoPro hit my helmet to here. That the bike came up so and, and then another I had two wheelies in a row maybe four or five times excellent you know but you got to have that guts a bit of mindset that in the mountain is coming the mountain is is, is like a bit of a uphill uh, corner before the straight and then as soon as you give it some the bike does come up and I was just absolutely on it I've got my hands uh, are hurting my shoulders are hurting backs hurting everything hurting um, but it was just rewarding very rewarding track if you get it right and you can get it wrong really quickly because it's so narrow anyways thank you very much i'll catch you later bye bye